Hello everyone, welcome to We Learn Tutorials. In this video, we are going to do triangles, which is chapter number 6 of your NCRT. In class 9th, you have already learnt about congruent triangles. And in detail, you have done. So here, we don't have to do that concept, but still, just to remove your confusion, we'll just go through that concept again. Here you can see we have two triangles A, B and C, A, B, C and triangle D, E, F. You can see here angle A is equals to angle D, angle C is equals to angle F and angle B it is equal to angle E of this triangle. We can see all the corresponding angles they are equal and apart from the angles if we see AC is equals to DF, BC is equals to FE and AB is equals to DE. So all the corresponding angles and all the corresponding sides are equal due to which both triangles they are congruent to each other. So congruency, congruency it just means complete overlapping. If I overlap this triangle with this, we won't be able to see this one. Which means on overlapping they will become like a one figure. So this was about this was about congruency. So now we don't have to mix this concept with the similar triangles because here we are going to do similar triangles. So before doing similar triangles let's understand what similar figures are here i have given you few images you can see star circle triangle and this hexagon you can see all the stars they look similar all the circles they are similar all the triangles are similar and all hexagons they are similar so if i if i ask you do you feel this tri this star it is similar to circle no do you feel this circle is similar to triangle no see this star they are similar to other stars this circle is similar to other two circles this triangle it is similar to these two and this figure this is similar to other these two of the same type so same type so same kind of figures they can be similar so there are few figures which can always be similar. So let's see which those figures are. All circles they will always be similar. All squares will be similar. And all equilateral triangle they will be similar. So these three figures they will always be similar. If you take circle of any radius then also it will be similar. If you take square of any side then again those squares will be similar and equilateral triangle same goes here also all equilateral triangles will be similar so if you want you can make a note of this you can see i have shown you circles see all circles they are similar all squares also they are similar so this was about the simple figures which will always be similar so let's see about some different figures because for different polygons we have two conditions for their similarity. So let's understand which those conditions are. I have taken two squares square ABCD and square EFGH. So in order to be similar the corresponding angles of both of these squares they should be equal let's understand what's the meaning of corresponding if I say angle A so corresponding to angle A is correspond is angle E so angle A should be equals to angle E and angle B it should be equals to angle F angle C it should be equal to angle G angle D it should be equals to angle H so all the corresponding angles they should be equal this is the first condition for the for two polygons to be similar 
see angle A is equals to angle E and here we can see all the angles they are equals to 90 degree that's what it's clearly visible also all the angles are equal and if we see step by step and see corresponding angles we can see angle A is equal to angle E is equal to 90 degree angle B is equal to angle F is equal to again 90 degree angle C is equal to angle G equal to 90 degree angle D is equal to angle H again equal to 90 degree which means their corresponding angles should always be equal this was the first condition now let's see the second condition the corresponding sides are in the same ratio or they should be in proportion so let's see the same figure again so we have to see corresponding sides now so if corresponding sides mean if i am taking ab of this figure i have to see ef of this figure then ad if i am seeing it should be eh of the other figure for BC corresponding side is FG and for DC corresponding side is HG. So how, how these two figures they can be similar? First of all we have already discussed about angles. Now let's see how the corresponding uh, sides will look like. See they should be in the same ratio. Let's start how to write AB upon its corresponding side ef so we have to write it in ratio form equals to it should be equals to bc corresponding to bc is fg bc upon fg now cd upon gh see all corresponding sides i am taking and i am writing these sides in ratio form ad upon eh see it should be in this way now let's write the values because here i have given the values also ab is equals to 1 centimeter bc is equals to 1 centimeter cd again equals to 1 centimeter and ad equals to 1 centimeter here i have given the values ef equals to 2 centimeter fg again 2 centimeter gh again 2 centimeter and eh also 2 centimeter because i have taken two squares and we all know all the sides of squares they are equal and i have already discussed all the squares will always be equal so i'll just fill the values ab is equals to 1 centimeter i have written 1 ef is equals to 2 centimeters so i have written 2 bc 1 centimeter fg 2 centimeter i have just filled the values cd 1 centimeter and gh 2 centimeter ad 1 centimeter and eh 2 centimeters and here i can see 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 so we can see here the corresponding sides are in the same ratio the ratio of all the corresponding sides equals to 1 by 2 or we can say corresponding sides are proportional to each other so these were the two conditions for any two figures or any two polygons to be similar first of all their corresponding angles they should be equal and secondly the corresponding sides should be in same ratio so both of the conditions has to be uh, have to be satisfied when we are proving or when we are showing or when we are checking the similarity we have to satisfy both the conditions now let's take another example Let's take the example of triangles now since we are doing the chapter for triangles. So I have taken two triangles KLM first one and second one EFG. So first of all let's check for the corresponding angles. Angle K corresponding to K is angle E. So angle K is equals to angle E we can see both are equals to 40 degrees so i have written then angle l corresponding to l is angle f angle l is equals to angle f is equals to 70 degree these are also equal then last angle m is equals to angle g is equals to 70 degree so here we have checked for corresponding angles and we can see all the corresponding angles are equal now let's check for the 
corresponding sides. Now we can see KL corresponding to KL is EF. So KL upon EF I have written in ratio form then KM upon EG because both of these sides are correspond corresponding to each other KM upon EG then ML this one ML upon GF. So I have written the sides in ratio form then I will just fill the values KL is 4 cm EF is 2 cm KL upon EF I have just filled the values 4 by 2 KM 4 cm you can say 4 cm this one and EG 2 cm 4 by 2 ML it is 2 cm and GF is 1 cm so I have just filled down the I have just filled the values and now we have to simplify it so this 4 by 2 if I do further simplification we can see 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 into 4 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 sorry so here also same thing 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 into 2 is 4 so there I have already 2 by 1 so on simplification I got 2 by 1 equals to 2 by 1 equals to 2 by 1 so from here I can see corresponding e angles are also equal and corresponding sides are in the same ratio which means these two given triangles are form a pair of similar triangles. So this was the concept which is required in exercise 6.1. So let's try to do exercise 6.1. So the first question of the exercise is fill in the blanks using the correct word given in the bracket. So they have given you options. You have to choose the correct option. All circles are dash. So similar or congruent. So we have already discussed at the starting that all circles are similar. All squares are dash. Again two options similar or congruent. So this is also we have discussed that all squares are similar. All triangles which are similar are dash. So which triangles are always similar isosceles or equilateral this also we have discussed. So all equilateral triangles will be similar. So next one is two polygons of the same number of sides are similar if their corresponding angles are dash and their corresponding sides are dash so they have given us two options and we have already discussed their corresponding angles they are equal and their corresponding sides they are proportional so with this first question is finished it was very simple let's do the second one give two examples of pair of similar figures so while doing similar figures which we have discussed also that also you can write so a pair of two circles similar figures any similar you can write a pair of two squares a pair of two equilateral triangles so anything you can write here I have written a pair of equilateral triangle with different lengths and a pair of rectangle with different lengths and breadths if you want you can write a pair of two circles with different radius and a pair of equal equilateral triangle with different sides any any figure you can write of your choice if you want you can make a note of this also then non similar figures non similar figure it's very easy you can write any non similar figure for example a pair of circle and triangle a pair of triangle or rect and rectangle a pair of rectangle and a square so any non similar figures two you can choose and write I have written a pair of rectangle and parallelogram with angles not equals to 90 and a pair of isosceles and scaling triangle etc. So there are so many if you want you can note this same also if you want you can write the others which I have told you. So let's do the third question and the last question of this, this exercise state whether the quadrilaterals are similar or not. So two figures have been shown to us and we have to see whether these are similar or not see if we look at the figure we can see these are not similar because 
we have already discussed their angle should be equal and here we can see their angles are not equal so how we will write it we have to see the corresponding angles angle s is not equal to angle d angle r is not equal to angle c and angle q is not equal to angle b angle p is not equal to angle a why the angles are not equal because this is a mark of 90 degree and we all know all the angles in this figure are equal to 90 degree but in this figure angle since this is a slant line means the angles are different or they have other values other than 90 degree so it's clearly visible angles are not equal and i have already told you if any one the any one of the condition is not satisfying then these two figures will not be similar so we don't have to check for the sides now because angles if angles are not equal then it's clearly understood the figures are not similar so with this our exercise is finished this exercise was very simple and i am sure you have understood the com concept of similarity now so in the next video we'll continue with exercise 6.2 and till then if you want you can start uh, you can start doing practice of more and more sums we'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching the video if you like do share do subscribe